Hello everybody, welcome to the CSL. I'm Camping and joining with me is Meeks. How are you doing, Meeks? Fantabulous. So we just finished up the semifinals where it was a ZVZ and a PvP. And now we have a PvZ between Dahl, our green Protoss in the bottom right, left. Damn it. Tanner on a <laughs> red Zerg in the top right. In the large screen. Red Zerg? I have red. Do I, I got blue. I have team colors on? I have team colors on. Blue Zerg in the top right. Um, so, in the large scheme of things, would you rather have a PvP or a ZvP? That's not much of a choice, is it? <laughs> no, it's not too much. That's why I'm asking it. <laughs> I guess PvZ. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think so, too. So, um... This should be interesting. I mean, Dahl and Tan are two of the best players in Penny Arcade. Um, yeah, I, I believe they played earlier in the tournament, actually. Oh, they and, did? Uh, trying to remember who won, though. Wait, how could they have played? Because... Oh, yeah, no, they, yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember the series. I know in one game, Tanner six pooled, and then one with a follow-up push later on. Uh, no, Dahl won. It was a very, very close game of three. Uh, Tanner went for some sort of all-in, and Dahl just barely held. Wow. Wow, I'm, I'm all tingly, all goosebumpy with esports goodness here. Looks like, however, Doll or Tanner is going to be going for a what? Uh, yeah. So, like I said, uh, Tanner likes to all in against Doll. Okay. Um, Doll did oh. miss gas one there. Well, I mean, is this a, is, was this a fourteen fourteen or what the hell? It looks like a fourteen fourteen. Doll's going to be gate expanding, which is. <laughs> And Dahl's also defending his gas. Did, did, did Tanner like metagame him and know that Dahl is going to go for a gateway expand? Wait, are we in... Is this 2008? What's going on here? <laughs> this does seem like PvP from two years ago. Yeah, I know. And he, he, he's expanding? What is the point of this build? Uh, okay, um... What possible advantage does this give him? So Dahl is most likely sentry expanding because he does have the second gas. Um, Tanner's going to be speedling expanding because it is 2008. Mind boggling. Or 2010 I guess. 2008 would be in, back in the closed beta. Um, okay. So already non-standard play from both players. I was going to say that Tanner is not now, Tanner doesn't do standard. <laughs> so it seems. Uh, and... Okay, so I do remember a game of Naniwa versus... Uh, maybe Idra, where... Where Nani went one gate Stargate, and Idra went... Well, he clearly didn't go Speedlink, but... Something like this? And it was a thing that happened? <laughs> I still don't have anything terribly positive to say right now. It's really awkward. I mean, no, oh, this is um, this is built at uh, Axlev, and uh, was it Cecil Sunker? One of the guys that used to give Dull lessons really likes. So uh, this is something he did a lot like a year ago. Okay, so we really have gone back in time. Tander has pulled out a gas. No intention of doing a baneling bus. He did produce a lot more lings though, which is kind of interesting. They are going to. Like, look at the Zealots, give them a high five, and then walk away. Interesting wall. Yeah, and by that, I mean it's not a wall at all. Yeah, the Lings are able to get through. Um, I'm not sure why he's attacking. I'm not even... Literally just threw away Zerglings. Um, um, that was... Uh, what is he doing? He's just throwing away Lings. It's gonna work, because Zal's not doing anything. Dalt, word. Yeah. It is gonna work. It doesn't have to do anything. <laughs> okay, no, there were lings back there. If those lings had actually been here, they could have broken through the zealot. Alright, so... so... So, he's going all in. He's just nothing but lings coming. Well, now there's drones, but that's a little bit too late, I think. Two phoenixes. Plugs the oh, hole. Oh, there's nothing in You can go past the wall now. Yeah, it looks, oh, it looks like he's going to... Oh, nice force field. Uh, but yeah. Oh, no, no, working. So that Dahl's gonna clean that up. Um, and now Dahl has air and Tanner has a base. Two bases. <laughs> I really... 
Uh, Chiss getting the Evo down, so he's gonna have no answer for these Phoenixes. Well, I mean, it's only two Phoenixes, right? And they're just cleaning up Overlords, so he's gonna have enough time, I think. He's gonna pick up, like, three or four Overlord kills, though, that's for sure. Um, quick Lair going down for Tanner. I... I guess Infester, because I, I would be hard-pressed to make Mutas, that'd be one hell of a gamble. Expo going down for Doll. So it looks like we're kind of stabilizing into what could be called normal gaming. Um, Dahl going for Sentry Zealot. Um, hasn't actually spotted any tech yet, but because of all those links, you can assume that Tanner was designing Ghost out of Link Heavy right now. Four Phoenixes should be able to do a little bit of damage there. There's the pickup. It's just going to be annoying. The score crawlers are up, so they're not going to pick up lots of drones. So they're going to get like the occasional Overlord and all that kind of stuff. So what does Tanner do here? Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm busy for a second. <laughs> We're so professional with the CSL, this is great. Uh, I'll tell you what Tanner needs to do. He needs to pick a damn tech. Oh my gosh. Uh, check in the production tab. So Anitis has gone down for Tanner. And Hydralis, so it's gonna be Hydra spotted. You guys can't see this right now, but my face just got covered by my palm. So Dahl is gonna be spotting. The good news is that uh, Hydra or Ling Hydra with Nidus doesn't need to actually Nidus into the into the back in order to do any damage. He could very well just Nidus the third. Bring the Hydras up. And really, the Hydras are going to be doing tons of damage here. Um, and the unfortunate thing for Dahl is that there's actually no Robo going down. He has a Twilight Council, which is an interesting choice. Um, and But Stalkers aren't terribly cost-effective against, um, against Hydras, of which two are coming out. So we'll see how this works out here. Looking at the unit station, he, uh, Tanner does have Max Sat on um, two bases. So probably has no intention of going to a third. This is going to be another kind of all-inish sort of... <clears throat> Looks like Dahl, Dahl spotting the Nidus with his Phoenixes. We'll be able to pick up that queen in a second. It looks like Tanner is going to push up here. See so the units are just unloaded. Um, it's going to be a little bit close. Oh, and there's the GG. So Dahl was... Good defense against kind of awkward aggression from Tanner does take game one. Interesting.